Hail to you, champions. My name is Ishka, paladin in training. In this video, we are going to go over the basics of setting up your microphone for your broadcasts in OBS Studio. This is not a definitive guide for every computer or every microphone. These are basic steps that use the built-in features and filters in OBS Studio. There will be more advanced filters, VSTs, videos like that later on. So let's get to this. So the first thing, we're going to click on settings and go straight to audio. Here, here, we're going to select our headset and then whichever microphone or microphones you want to use. Right now, we're going to focus on this one, the Razer Siren. Whichever microphone you want to use, select yours. Click OK. Then we'll head to Advanced. Click on Advanced and under Audio, Audio Monitoring Device, you'll select your headset. This is to help you when you go to your mixer. You can see Advanced Audio Properties. Click on that. Find the microphone that you want to use and select Audio Monitoring monitor only mute output meaning every time you speak now into your microphone you will be able to hear it this is what it sounds like live for you this will not get broadcast into your show when you're live but you will always be able to hear yourself and hear what you sound like so now we're going to get into the filters of the microphone. You go down here within the mixer, you click the gear and go to filters. Now I do have some set up for my stream. This is the more advanced stuff. We're going to use just the basics um, for now. So first we have the compressor. You can name this whatever you want. If you're only using these filters for the first time, just leave its name alone. You can always come back to it and change it however way you want. What you want from this compressor is when you begin to yell into your microphone or say something crazy, some, something hype is happening, and you start to speak real loud, the loudness of my voice. It never really goes into the red. Not with a compressor, because the compressor is used to balance out your voice even when you're shouting. This will help your microphone not crack or cause those peaking sounds or cause the rip headphones user moments. So just... To show what this kind of sounds like without the compressor, you can see now I'm going more into the red. Uh, and if I just, ah, you can see it right there. However, if you turn on the compressor and you continue to talk and you go, ah, you see how it normals out my voice. Ah, it's a lot harder to get it into there. So that's the first step. So now your microphone's going to sound more normalized. Your voice isn't going to peak. It isn't going to just shred people's ears. Within gain, what you can do is, if you're not loud enough, you can raise the gain. So I'm going to raise it to three. And immediately, you can hear a big change. A big change. So the higher this goes, the louder you're going to get. Now, if I wanted to go negative three, now everything is a little quieter. And you can continue to lower it even more. So if you are just too loud, you can keep lowering it. Something else you're going to want to do is most microphones do have a built-in software. You can click on that and lower the volume or the sensitivity of the microphone yourself. Some have knobs on the physical microphone that can help you. Lowering your gain is usually never something you're going to do. But most of the time, depending on how far away your microphone is from you and how loud you sound, you'll be raising or lowering the gain. So I'm going to turn my gain off for now. I can leave it on at zero. It won't make a difference. But I'm just going to turn mine off. The third one, we're going to do noise suppression before we get into noise gate. And right there, you can hear a big change. That fan is no longer there. Let me turn this off again. You'll be able to hear it. So with noise suppression, you can hear just me. 
you're not going to hear the fans in the background. The way noise suppression works is that it blocks out the sound like computer fans or a fan you have in your room or an AC unit. Uh, maybe some background TV is on. Maybe you have roommates that are talking in a different room or playing a game of their own. This is going to help eliminate the background chatter and focus more on what's in front of the mic. Now, you can raise and lower this depending on how much noise you have in your background. You can pinpoint it, but the default of 30 seems to be something that, that, that works for most people. So for me, you don't hear those fans until you hit the 15 mark. I would say leave it on the default of 30 because once you actually are starting to game, that's when your system starts to kick up, your fans get louder, your GPU kicks on. There's just a lot of noise that you can eliminate with just this alone. So now we're going to go back and go to noise gate. Oh. So now we're going to introduce noise gate. I can't name it noise gate because I have one already. So we're going to name it noise gate 2 and we will select it. Now what this does is close threshold, open threshold. Open means the amount of sound that is required for your microphone to record. The close threshold is again, the amount of sound required for it to close the microphone. Imagine it as a door, opening and closing, the amount of force you need to open it and then close it. Your attack time is how quick, within milliseconds, it begins to record those voices. The hold time, again in milliseconds, is how long you have the little space in between your words for it to remain open. The release time is how quick it's going to fade out your voice once it finally hits the closed threshold. Now the best thing to do here with these decibels uh, is play with a slider and what you want the noise gate for is say Here in the noise gate, the microphone will be here in the noise gate, the microphone will be triggered to open or be on when you reach a specific noise level. This is helpful when you don't want the mic to pick up on your keystrokes, especially if you're using like a mechanical keyboard or your mouse clicks. Um, if your microphone is directly on top of your desk, most of the time just the thuds of your finger dropping on the keyboard is enough to trigger your microphone. Um, so I suggest getting like a microphone arm or a boom stand arm or something else just to get the microphone physically off your desk so it doesn't have to absorb those shocks because that will trigger the open threshold of the noise gate. Um, so here with these sliders, you can play it around. I'm gonna slap my keys a couple of times just to kind of demonstrate how the noise gate works. So right now, as I talk, you can hear them in the background. And then when I stop talking, it's still going on. So this is a very useful tool. You could leave it on the default, but again, it depends on the distance of the microphone from you and the other objects around it. So that is compressor, noise suppression, noise gate, and gain. So that is compressor, gain, noise suppression, and noise gate. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you have questions on. I will try my best to answer all those questions as quickly as I can. Till next time, champions. Keep playing, keep slaying, and work on your filters.